Hey people of VC, it's Andy, a cloudy and milder. We're at the end of another decade, and I have to say this has been my favourite decade for rock and metal since the 80s. Um, it might just be because I've got more involved and got back into my physical media again. I'm a lot, I've been a lot more hungrier over the last few years, consuming uh, new music. But over the last 10 years, there has been an amazing amount of albums from new bands and uh, the classic bands, classic album, uh, classic bands, um, coming good and releasing stuff all over again. So what I thought I'd do is I put together a series of videos showing <coughs> the releases that I have picked up over the last ten years, from 2010 to the end of 2019. I'm only going to show um, new music that was released in this time, or um, live albums that were recorded. Um, during the last 10 years as well. Uh, just as an example, so um, <clears throat> you won't see, even though this was released um, in the last 10 years, you won't see this here because it's of a broadcast that was done in 1987. It's not new music for this decade. You will see this though because, um, I might have mentioned that I went to this gig, um, <clears throat> because it is a live show that was recorded during the last 10 years, even though the set list is pretty much exactly the same. Um, you won't see any reissues of classic albums, but you will see, say, the odd reissue of um, albums that were originally released in, uh, in this decade, and I will try and show them in the year that they were first released rather than the, the reissue year. It, hopefully it'll make sense as we go through. Of course, um, rules are meant to be broken, so you may see one or two slip in um, here and there, but um, I just kind of wanted to celebrate what a great decade it had been for uh, rock and metal over the last 10 years and show you what I have from this decade. <clears throat> this first video is going to be 2010 and 2011. At the start of the decade, I wasn't buying any physical media. I was really listening to a lot, or getting back into a lot of 80s metal, to be honest with you. So there weren't so many pickups. And retrospectively, most of the stuff you'll see in here, certainly the vinyl is retrospective. I didn't start picking up any vinyl until about 2014. So 2011, 2010, 2011 will be a video. Uh, 2012 and 2013 will be one. And then there'll be one video per um, year after that because it just kind of exploded as I got into vinyl and uh, CDs again uh, big time. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy this series and um, talk to me in the comments about albums that you um, have from the particular years but uh, I may not have, have heard of certainly in the, uh, in the earlier years. Um, anyway, let's get on with 2010. Rasakauda, a band originally from Iraq, uh, now based in the US. This is Only the Dead See the End of the War. Uh, thrash metal produced by Alex Skolnick for Track EP. New wave of traditional heavy metal pioneers enforcer from Sweden with Diamonds. My introduction to uh, Gamma Ray, I'd go on to own all of their albums uh, soon after this. This is To the Metal. Ozzy Osbourne, Scream. Uh, not that big a fan of Ozzy, to be honest with you. I think this is the only post-80s album I have. Uh, Painside from Brazil. Um, great traditional heavy metal with vocals. Um, sounded like a bit like Bruce Dickinson. Uh, Dark World Burden is the album. Rabid Bitch of the North. Out of the Kennel. A uh, five-track EP, traditional heavy metal from uh, Belfast, Ireland, I think. And uh, Sinbreed, When Worlds Collide, this is their debut album, um, heavy metal from Germany. I only have two albums that were originally released in 2010 on vinyl. The first being Iron Maiden's uh, 15th album, uh, The Final Frontier, which um, I also have on... Uh, CD. And 
and uh, finally uh, German thrash metal uh, Rosette uh, Rosette uh, Have Gun Will Travel this is actually a 2016 uh, reissue I uh, got signed by the uh, current lineup of the band when I saw them support an anvil uh, a couple of years ago but um, the album itself was originally released in 2010 Much like 2010, my um, the number of 2011 releases I have is very limited. I think there's only uh, three here. Uh, so we'll start off with uh, one of my favourite Anthrax albums, actually, uh, which is uh, Worship Music. Absolutely great album, this one. Um, got some of my favourite Anthrax uh, songs on it, to be honest with you. I think it's a fantastic return to form with Joey Baldonna. I also have this one on uh, CD as well. Anvil, Juggernaut of Justice, this is on uh, double blue vinyl, it's, uh, it's Anvil, you know what you're going to get with Anvil, and it's a, uh, it's a great album. And uh, finally for 2011, High Spirits, uh, Another Night, uh, this is a patch uh, that came with the album as well, signed by um, Professor Black's uh, touring band. Um, I saw these again, what, uh, two, three years ago, probably now. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Live. Debut EP from uh, Fury, self-titled, uh, UK power metal. Gamma Ray, Skeletons and Majesties. This is a, a mini album. Uh, kind of contains a couple of new tracks, uh, some acoustics, some live stuff, I think. Um, I'll buy anything Gamma Ray though. Hell, Human Remains. Um, this was a originally a new wave of British heavy metal band uh, formed by Dave uh, Halliday. Uh, he's the guy that taught Andy Sneap how to play guitar, basically. A very sort of theatrical heavy metal. Um, Andy Sneap reformed the band and kind of re released for the first time a lot of the uh, original uh, Dave Halliday material. Iron Kingdom, Canadian heavy metal, um, very similar to Iron Maiden, uh, but no clone, that's for sure. Uh, this is Curse of the Voodoo Queen. Uh, Iron Saviour, this time. Um, a band that Kai Hansen was originally in, but left after two or three albums. This is a, a killer release, sort of German, well, it is German power metal, if you can... Uh, Read the hype sticker on the front, it doesn't lie. Um, yeah, I'm uh, slowly working my way through and get the whole of the Iron Savior catalog. Uh, Machine Head, a band I'm fairly uh, new to, sort of modern uh, thrash metal. Uh, Unto the Locust, probably my least favorite album from them I've heard. It just seems um, completely different from any other albums they've had. And finally, 2011. Uh, Wolf, Legions of Bastards. Uh, saw these guys uh, this year, and um, it's just a shame that their CDs are pretty hard to come by these days, but I managed to grab this one. So that's everything I own from that was released in 2010 and 2011. Let me know in the comments below what albums I should look into from that uh, period that uh, I, I don't own. And um, next up will be 2012 and 2013. See you then.